Hey guys, welcome to the school of rock star. This is another episode of Think Like a Rock Star. Today we are going to think like the rock stars of entrepreneurship. Evan Carmichael, Tom Bilyeu, Lewis House, Tim Ferriss, Jay Shetty, Tony Robbins, Mel Robbins. All these guys are my mentors, Gary Vee. Because I'm learning from their content. I'm learning and listening and I'm like I'm hustling every single day. What I would say hustle is to me is that when you have passion around something that you are squeezing every last bit of the juice out of the orange, right? To me, hustle is maximizing the energy you're putting into somebody. I'm blown away by people saying that they're hustling and they want to achieve these great things and then their actions don't match. It's like saying you really want to lose weight while eating a Big Mac, right? So to me, hustle would be putting all your effort into achieving the goal at hand. And for me, that means making every minute count. Hiring a full-time assistant who is ever, I mean, Friday night didn't happen because I was hustling like every minute. Like if I miss my 15 minutes to tape the show, I've missed my 15 minutes because there's so much hustle in my day. There's no, you know, there's no like, there's no hanging out. There's no like time where like, if I get to do like one joke with you guys as I'm walking in between meetings, we like find that to be like a rare acquaintance situation, like like occurrence, not acquaintance. Uh, hustle is putting it all on a line. Hustle is waking up one day, the day before you die, and realizing you gave it your all into the parenting of your children, the building of your businesses, the philanthropy that you wanted to do. Whatever you define, it's just you know all in emotionally and executionally. In some people just, they get on the show and they think, you know, I don't have to work anymore, I don't have to work as hard, or if I get an investor it'll be easier, and it never works that way. Or um, they just, they stop paying attention to detail, Yeah. right? I've had a couple companies where it's like, all right, you know, I'll hire people to do all the work. It's your company, yeah. it's your baby. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to do, you You know, if you're not going to do the work, who is? And I've always felt, you know, in terms of leadership, that my job is to put everybody around me in a position to succeed. And if I'm walking around the arena here, I'm picking up junk on the ground, I'm, you know, helping customers, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, convey to everybody that there's not a job that you would do that I wouldn't do myself. Mm. And a lot of entrepreneurs that fail, they lose, they lose track of that. They think, you know, I'm the boss. I mean, I, I had I had a job one time, and I was a horrible employee, where you know the the president of the company spent more time telling me how I should dress than trying to help me close sales. Yeah, you know. So you've got to do the work. Yeah. This is a message for today. You need to hustle. You need to hustle harder. You need to hustle harder. You won't find a perfect time to start, or if you don't find a perfect. Um, like a course or you don't find a perfect time to start your business you need to hustle to get that point you need to hustle every single day what I do is exactly like I learn I like I listen to the videos every single morning and when I'm walking to office or when I'm taking a break or when I when I'm eating a lunch I listen to their videos, I listen to their YouTube videos and consume their content, what they're exactly saying and how they, I'm also seeing that, uh, what, how they are hustling. Gary V, he is the real person. He, like, like, when you see his daily V vlogs, you will learn the real hustle. He'll always be moving and traveling all the uh, all around the world, but he won't get get that uh, I need to take rest. He won't he won't get that those kind of thoughts because he really enjoying that hustle hustle mode. And 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 also what's the most important thing is on during weekends he also started doing trash talks. I, I like I follow him on Instagram and he always during the weekends he do garage saving he loves and he loves to do it. Garage saving and a uh, few weeks back, he started uh, posting a video of trash talks with the garage selling, how you can earn an extra income every month. You need to hustle, guys. You need to find, like, if you have that, if you get that mindset of hustling, you will find a ways to get that things done. Like, 
you need to first get that mindset and uh, you should be like you should not quit when it's get harder so you need to first cul- cultivate that mindset then you will attract the things that you really want in your life to get to your dreams get closer to your dreams because you are hustling every single day you are putting action every single day you are taking action every single day that's what i'm doing i'm not taking rest uh, like uh, during weekends because weekends are the most crucial for me because i interview i ask for people to i like uh, to give me an opportunity to talk to them to know their stories and record and uh, like a uh, post it on a youtube channel i take that time to get because that's my hustle that's what i'm doing that's what i love you need to hustle harder then only you will get closer to your dreams if i think like uh, um sometimes I, i used to think like uh, in the initial stages i used to think like if i message this guy or if i message this person what they think of me what like how they think of me but now i'm not caring i'm not i'm not i'm not getting those thoughts because i know i provided value to their community i provided value to their life or business what they are doing currently and then only i'm asking for for help or an opportunity to talk to them that's the real hustle that's what i'm doing i'm connecting with people i'm like um, i'm following them i'm providing value to their community you need to hustle harder every single day you won't find you won't find the convenient time or convenient place with uh, like uh, someone they feel like um, if you want to record a small video uh, uh, we think like i need to get that big camera that even kamit has or some gary v has or uh, we we also think like i need to go uh, i will record a video when i get to that position or when i build that studio that's a wrong mentality that's a wrong mindset as an entrepreneur what you should do is you need to hustle harder to get to that position guys you should hustle harder every single day to get to that position to get that camera into your life to get that uh, studio to build that studio or to build that dream home to your parents or to build like uh, to build that bigger connection so that your business or your, your life will change my re- like my goals for the life is i want to interview as many people as possible like i'm writing all their names in my journal and i'm going to make it happen like um i'll sh- i'll share a funny story not a funny story that but a real story that happened in my life so i started this whole journey of uh, a whole journey on youtube instagram uh, six or seven months back but my family don't know that i'm doing all these things but recently two weeks back my uh, family got to know that i'm doing all these things but what they did is like they supported me they said we are with you you are doing it right you are doing it for the right reason then i got that support bigger support that i want in life i'm i didn't wait it for their approval guys but i struggled and i hustled every single day even if i don't have that uh, proper internet connection i used to connect with my uh, wifi that i have in my mobile lte and i i did so many interviews with my lte connection because i don't have proper internet connection at my uh, home so if you like if you have that uh, mindset to do get things done then god or uni- like a uh, universe universe will help you to uh, uh, to make it happen guys uh, uh what i felt like uh, i used to uh, i used to get i used to travel from north side to south side because my office is on south side of the city and uh, i used to live on the north side so i travel all the way it takes me almost 1 hour in the morning 
so for that for that i need to wake up at 5 o'clock and i need to be there uh, i need to be at 6 o'clock at the bus stop otherwise i'll miss the bus i only have one bus early in the morning so i am ready i need to get because that job is very important that work is very important for me so i wake up i woke up at 5 o'clock and get those things done for me in the starting i feel like it's very tough and i feel sick but when i when i when i did it, it, it continuously then i cultivated those habits it make like a it uh, it changed to a habit then i didn't feel like stressed or i'm doing something um uh, i'm traveling all the way but i didn't feel like and one more thing is one more advantage is added advantage is i travel uh, from north to south right so i used to have that wifi connection in bus so that's the added advantage and i used to listen to course lessons that i take on udemy and i completed one course also during the travel times but after that after a couple of months i moved to south side near my near my office but uh, at one place uh, three months back i lived in one place but at that place i don't have the proper internet connection to make those videos happen or to make uh, interviews happen but i lived at that place because that's necessary for me at that time and after three months or four months i moved to the nearest place to my uh, to my office so that i can walk so that i can save that money um of uh, like a uh, cab money so that i can send it to my family to uh, like uh, to come out of the debts we have so you need to hustle every single day guys you won't find the perfect time or perfect place to get things done you need to find it you need to you need to work towards it then universe will help you to make your dreams happen hustle 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 harder every single day take action thank you guys thank you so much if you like this video please give it a like leave a comment in the comment section and if you have a question leave it in the comment and i will make video response to you thank you so much don't be a victim of your life be a rock star of your life thank you so much namaskar how did you get an agent <sighs> Okay, let me tell you. <laughs> Talk about some name dropping, right? So, I I had a friend that at the time was good friends with Keenan Ivory Wayans, mm -hmm. okay? And I got to meet Keenan and we became very good friends. I ended up doing low down dirty shame with Keenan. Oh, sure, yeah. But I didn't have an as agent peaches, huh? as peaches, yeah. right? I didn't have an agent <laughs> yet. And I was like, you know, how am I I was just going through you know the the list of agencies and i was like i got to get an agent and so i literally called this one agent her name was Nancy Rainford and i said i'm a really good friend of Keenan Ivory Wayans <laughs> and he told me to call you specifically <laughs> and she's like this small agency on Melrose but you know she had me she had Michael Rapaport at the time oh wow yeah she had Michael Rapaport at the time so i said he told me to call you specifically uh -huh. you know so i'm running this whole game and she was like really she was like well why don't you come in and see me so i went in to see her you know and i put on the jazz hands you know <laughs> <laughs> and she was like you know what i like you i'm going to represent you and i'm going to tell you She was she was an awesome agent. She was an awesome agent. She she had Michael Rapaport and I and she she started my career. She wow. started my career and then she eventually got out of the business, but mm -hmm. she was the one that started my whole career. And it But was I just got that. in the door because of Keenan's day. <laughs> <laughs> that attitude that too. That attitude. I was like, yeah. "He told me you specifically." <laughs> That's good. That's Isn't actually that good. good. Yeah. That's actually something. <laughs> That's yeah, great. I, I did. Love that. I did. I look, if it's not one thing Baltimore taught me, it definitely taught me how to hustle. I'll <laughs> <say that. laughs>